Now, by the end of this section, you will understand what is market sentiment and how it can affect prices. You will learn how to go about trading the fundamentals. You will learn how to predict the possible results of some fundamentals using correlation. And you will learn one of the major keys to successful Forex trading and how you can use this key to make more money trading Forex. Now, fundamental trading. Now, first, we must identify the reason for the move. So first, identify the cause of the move using the news sources. Is it because of an economic announcement? Is it because of rising oil prices, etc.? Okay, so once we say that the market has moved, we must first identify the cause of that move. Okay, once we understand the cause of that move, then we can anticipate the other move. So the first thing is to identify the cause of the previous move, and then we can go ahead and try to anticipate the upcoming move. So the first thing to do is to try to identify the reason for the previous or the most recent market move. The next thing is the fundamentals. You must identify the overall fundamental picture of that currency and you can do this by using new sources to find out what the central bank is focusing on and which way the currency should be going. If the central bank is focusing on increasing interest rate, then we're going to expect the currency of that central bank to increase. Okay, if a, if a central bank is focused on quantitative easing, then we're going to expect the currency of that central bank to decrease in value. And then you must identify a fair price for the currency okay so you must identify what is the fair price of the currency based on the cost of the most recent fundamental announcement okay so for example let's say we have cpi data coming out for the us and as a result we can see the euro falls to, let's say for example 105 now that's a fair price because that's where the euro went after we had the CPI data, the most recent fundamental announcement. Now, let's say the next day we see the euro falls to 107 and there's no fundamental announcement, no major economic news that should cause the market to fall. Okay. In that case, the fair price for the euro is 105 because the fall to 107 is not caused by any fundamental news. Hence, the fair price of the currency is still 105, okay? So that should give you an understanding of what fair price is. So first, understand the reason for the move. Then we get the fundamental outlook for the currency. Then we identify what the fair price is. And then we can move on from there. And further on in the course, we will discuss the steps to trade in fundamental analysis. Sentiment. Now, this is extremely important. And what sentiment is, is really the mood of the market, okay? Very often, the fundamentals may point towards the market moving up, but instead, the market moves down. And this is often just a change in sentiment and it's temporary, okay? So sentiment is just the mood of the market. And changes in price that are caused by sentiment are temporary. The market will eventually move in the direction of the fundamentals. So sentiment change may be caused by traders taking profits. And as a result, we see a temporary change in the direction of the market. But as long as the fundamentals remain unchanged, the market will eventually go in the direction of the fundamentals. Okay, so sentiment is the mood of the market. And a technique we love to use to trade is to trade the sentiment of one currency against the sentiment of another currency. And we will discuss this further on in the course.